going Viking back with today's video. Uh, I got a hold of Bomber Crew. Uh, this one's on sale in the store with all the DLC, probably about five bucks. So uh, if you like this video, check it out if it's something you like. Here's my ragtag group of Bomber Crew people. I'm the pilot, red shirt, and I got all my uh, veterans on there. We've done some missions. Um, there's the plane. The Osprey, generic name, I don't know, just popped in my head. Um, you can customize your bomber how you see fit with a ton of stuff. And as you progress through the game, more and more and more stuff unlocks. So that's been kind of cool. Every time you complete a mission, you get something else you can buy. Whether or not you have the money or not is another thing. But, um, yeah, this is like a bomber World War II bomber simulator with a kind of a cool little cartoony graphic style which is kind of neat um it's been fun it's challenging and it's stressful we're gonna do a mission i mean what could go wrong i'm just uh it's gotta be easy right <laughs> um this game uh it's been out a while um it's gotten generally favorable views but I've been having a blast with it um, you got a lot of options you can paint your sh paint your plane uh, you know upgrade everything here's the mission room and you just do missions and I'm gonna do an easy one because my plane is not that geared up um, but I think we're all right these easy missions I got a enemy damage down I mean we should be able to fire this out probably so we'll get into it you uh, control your crew, and as you do the missions, you'll see. Um, I won't talk too much about it. You kind of see. We'll kind of talk about it as it goes on. But your plane gets shot up. Your engines can start on fire. Your electric can go out. You got to have the engineer go and fix it while the gunners are trying to gun down the planes. It's pretty stressful. <laughs> um, but it's fun when you bring your plane you bomb your target and bring your plane back to base and uh, you know complete a mission with your crew intact if you can bail out if your plane's gonna blow up you try to bail out your crew members blah 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 i mean it's it's all that everything you would think a bomber bombing simulator would have so i moved my bomber down there right away i don't usually use the front gun too much because the planes, my two bat gunners can usually handle it. The planes, the enemy planes come in on your tail end, hopefully. That's what I hope, at least, most of the time. But um, So I kind of set everything up before I take off on the runway, and uh, we get into it. And you have to select each character to give them commands. So we're taking off, I'm taking off. Your pilot always stays, usually, in the cockpit. He doesn't run around much. Uh, you navigate by picking, selecting the beacon, and your plane will go there. You don't actually fly the plane. It's kind of auto-fly. Um, you manage your fuel consumption with the engineer when he's at his station. I mean, there's there's a lot of intricacies. So here I'm in the, on the bomber character, and I'm getting everything ready. I'm selecting, uh, and then there's this bombing target, and I'm selecting the bombs I want to use. And when we come up, I'll open the doors, drop the bombs mission accomplished maybe take some photos you can take photos of like military bases so we're leaving england going across the english channel to france is our mission you can go to the navigator and look at the map to get you know there's intricacies i haven't mastered everything i've just you know I've, I've just been playing a few missions and it's still a little over my head but it's accessible which is neat I didn't feel too frustrated, but I'm fly. I'm going to try this at a higher altitude, but I don't know how that's going to go. Usually I stay low, but it gets kind of hard to see the ground with the cloud cover. Um, it's fun making the bomber your own and kind of naming your crew and blah, blah, blah. It's all, the little, all, all the fun aspects are in this game, and then uh, and they're a little bit simplified which is nice it's more about managing stuff but so here we're going in the target we can see the target we're starting to bombing run let's see if we can get this done a little lower altitude and get in there for the bomb all good so far no enemy planes in sight 
All right, we got the target locked. Switch to my bomber, open the bomb bay doors, and get everything ready, low altitude. The music starts hyping up. It's like, oh my gosh, palms are starting to get sweaty because you can have a bad run. Like, they can blow your wings off and you hit the ground, everyone dies. You got to start from scratch, kind of. But there's a memorial wall for your dead people. Uh-oh. Drop the bomb. Got it. Then you select, you gotta highlight the targets so the gunners can start getting on them and take care of them because they'll shoot you up pretty fast. So one target down. Let's go over here and get a little uh, picture. And then I'll hit I'll hit my last target on the way back is what I'll do. Get this picture for extra money so I can upgrade my plane more. More, more fighters, alright. You want to get these guys targeted so that the gunners can keep on them. Good. Snap this picture for that money. Alright. Picture might as well get this picture too. Since I'm over here. But you never know what's gonna happen. Up oh, more bomb, more fighter pilots. I'm gonna highlight those. I upgraded my guns so that I don't have to manually reload them or attach to the ammo dump. Snap it. Alright, let's get this last bomb done and get home. Turn around. Head back to the target. Oh my gosh, my engine. Why is it on fire already? Oh man. So you're at my engine's on fire. I gotta put that fire out or move the engine and that's bad news so I'm going to do an emergency dive which is a skill my pilot has and that should put the engine fire out oh I wasn't wait I wasn't high enough I didn't get it all the way out oh my god this is going bad already okay no, lost an engine oh my gosh so yeah so things can go bad real quick and it's kind of random, it feels like. Like, sometimes you have electrical issues right away, which is a bummer, but we got this. What, there's a guy dead, too? Why is it my tail gunner's dead? Oh, my gosh. This is going bad. This is going to be bad. I got to heal. I got to heal. Is the electrics out, too? The electrics are out? Oh, my. So everything's... Now, this is... I should abort. This is bad. I'm going to lose this plane. Um... I gotta heal my gunner. I got two minutes to heal him. First aid. I got to put out. I gotta fix the electrics. I'll fix the electrics because we can't do anything without electrics. So. I don't want to move my bomber because we're coming up on that last target. So I gotta grab a med pack. A med pack. And I gotta make sure I don't miss. We really gotta nail this bomb, this bomb right here. Oh my god. Okay, switch to the bomber. Like, oh, the electrical system's out. I can't release the bombs? Oh my gosh. Abort. I'm aborting. I'm going back. I don't want to lose my guys. This went bad. I lost another engine. Okay, so I got to heal this guy. I don't want to lose him. He's one of my better gunners. So, hydro hydraulic system failed too? Oh my gosh. And they're following me across the English Channel. I got to target these. Gosh. Okay, get on him. No, I gotta I gotta get this gunner revived and I gotta get him back in the tail gunner seat to uh Okay, we're making it across the channel. They won't follow me up into England, I don't think. I'm gonna go a little higher. Oh my gosh, so that's okay, so the hydraulic system electrics are fixed. I gotta save this guy. I got twenty-five seconds. First aid kits on the wall. I'll heal him and then send the engineer up to fix the hydraulics. I just need to get over um, our territory so they leave me alone. So this is what you can expect. This one went went really bad. I mean, sometimes you breeze through the missions and you bomb and then you kill all the planes. So I don't know what's up, but oh my gosh, my plane is shredded. 
Okay, so get him back there. Fire. I gotta no, I gotta fix the hydraulics because the guns don't work. Oh my gosh. Just leave me alone, please. If he's gonna die, I'm gonna put him in the med bay. So this is what the game's about, kind of. This is the stress the stressful stuff. So oh I have my um my radio man is fixing the, the electrics. I can't take much more hits. I only got two engines left. We're running out of fuel too. I gotta swap some fuel, run it lean, and swap some fuel to uh losing fuel. Is my bomb bay door still open? So your bomb bay doors create drag, which makes you lose more fuel, so I probably should have shut those. I didn't. I think we're over England now, so the, the enemy fighters broke off, so I, I just have to worry about getting back and landing safely. So that's this, <laughs> that's this game. That was just one little easy mission. I'm not even on the... Close the, close the door. So there's the airport. I gotta come in for a landing. Um, lower the landing gear. You gotta make sure you lower the landing gear so you don't smash into the runway. I don't know, this game is, has been really cool. I don't know if this mission made you interested or not, but um, I was pleasantly surprised with this game. There's also a space one called Space Crew where you pilot like a spaceship like Star Trek and it's kind of the same type of deal. You're out fighting aliens like this and uh, it's a good game. I'm glad I picked it up. I uh, wasn't planning on picking it up but it was uh, on sale and I kind of looked at it and I was like this looks like something that could be fun. And it is fun. I mean, just the, the fact that I actually survived that, I'm just pumped about. And now if I can land it, I'll, I won't. You know, I didn't beat the mission, but I brought everyone back safe. And the plane's in one piece, so I can just try it again. Try the mission again. Um, but yeah, it's a good little game. Put him back up here. So yeah, and all the upgrades, they have a ton of different upgrades, and with the DLCs, they have an American bomber and you know different paint jobs and different weapons and, and all this stuff. There's a lot of content for the for what you get, and it's a fun little game. It's not overly complicated. And I'm playing on a PlayStation 4 with a controller, and uh, and it's just good good fun. I mean. The randomness of it, just, you don't know what's going to happen. Come on, don't do anything weird, just land. And... Alright, we're back safe. So I didn't complete the mission, but hey, I got everyone back in one piece, I aborted. So that's Bomber Crew. Hopefully you thought it was interesting. It's been a good, good fun game to play. You get your missions, so let's see what happens here. So I failed that, I, I got one, but they don't give you partial credit. My plane's back and repaired. I did get those recon photos, so I got so I got some some points. And all my crew's back. Not dead. So they'll level up, I think. Yep, they level up. So we failed the mission, but they came back on a mission, so they get some experience. So yeah. And then you just basically do this, and when your guys die, if you get certain guys to die, you can recruit new ones and blah 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 but that's bomber crew so it's been a fun game maybe i'll be back with more videos on it but uh hope you liked it take care viking out of here see you in the next vid bye